Hello and welcome to episode 11 of the Daily Decrypt. I'm your host Amanda. Today Bitcoin is $264, Dash is $2.33, BitShares is 40% of a penny, and Monero is 39 cents. So firstly I wanted to tell you about this site that launched over the weekend called I'm not even sure how I would pronounce it. Sato? It's S-A-T-O, but then it's dot S-H. So it's like Satosh, like Satoshi. But it aims to be a content sharing site that pays users to post content that ends up getting upvoted. And naturally users are paid in Bitcoin. It looks like it's in its alpha testing phase right now. That's what the email I got from them said. I must have signed up to be an alpha tester. I forgot. Uh, or maybe I remember a little. But uh, yeah, it looks like I can send invites to other people. So if Satosh, I'm just gonna call it Satosh, sorry if it's really Sato. If Satosh uh, looks like something that you would be interested in using, uh, tweet me or just leave a comment below the video and I will send you an invite. Give me your email, naturally. Next, Mashable is reporting on this device that's called, I don't know if it's pronounced the Ninabot, or the nine bot. Either way, it's like a Segway, um, but it's cheaper and lighter weight. And instead of rising up above, you know, up to your hand level, you just balance it between your knees. And apparently it's only like $320 or something and is already for sale in China. When I first saw it, I thought it looked kind of silly. I mean, like Segways never took off, right? I thought, you know, oh, maybe it will be you know, just kind of silly, something that only like lazy police ride, like segways or whatever. But then I was thinking, so, I mean, for those who live in urban areas, I myself do, um, walking on cement for multiple miles a day, I don't know about anyone else, but for me, it starts to feel jarring on my joints. And I really don't think that humans are evolved to walk on something like cement anyway, you know, because that's a, a relatively new thing. So I'm not even sure our bodies are equipped to take the abuse of walking miles on cement. And so, you know, something like the Ninabot, uh, I don't know, I, I might look into getting it to, to save my joints and then, you know, get my exercise where the ground is softer. Another weekend discovery of mine was this site called CryptoGrind. And CryptoGrind is like the Fiverr for people who want to buy and sell in Bitcoin. Now I hear you already saying, but Fiverr accepts Bitcoin. Well, yes they do, but they do not pay out in Bitcoin. In fact, I even had a rude experience with their customer service people. Uh, recently when I emailed them asking uh, when they planned to offer freelancers a payout option in Bitcoin since people can pay in Bitcoin and I received a boilerplate response uh, just directing me to their frequently asked questions page which I had already read thoroughly so for freelancers who would like to get paid in Bitcoin uh, it looks like Crypto Grind might be a good place to start. Uh, and the site launched about a month ago, so you would likely be one of the early and few users. In very cool health news from Gizmag, there is a postgraduate student named Devesh Mystery who attends Mystery, that's a cool last name, who attends the University of Leeds. And he is working on something that he believes uh, should be able to replace the need for reading glasses as people age. Uh, he says as people age and their eyes begin to stiffen, uh, that's when they become long-sighted. He calls it age-related long-sightedness. And so he is working on something which uses the liquid crystal that's used in the screens of televisions and smartphones to develop a surgical implant that would auto-adjust as your aging eyes uh, change in needs over the years. Mystery says he would like to have a working prototype of his eye implant by the time he finishes his doctorate in 2018. 
hurry along, mystery, hurry along. The world is waiting for your invention. Syscoin, S-Y-S. Syscoin is among the more recent contenders in the decentralized marketplace software, if that's what you want to call it, among contenders like OpenBazaar, BitMarkets, NXT, Free Market, these sort of things. And they are looking for beta testers currently, so if you are interested in helping to bring forth whatever the, the, the real peer-to-peer -peer decentralized marketplace that really takes off happens to be, uh, go ahead and check out this Reddit post and get signed up to test. Gizmag also reports that the European Space Agency has announced that it has launched a CubeSat, which is short for Cube Satellite, small, uh, into space to track aircraft as it flies through the air. And that ju this just got me thinking uh, because I had heard before that CubeSats were affordable for you don't have to be like some government agency to have the budget to actually be able to use one of these things. Apparently you can buy a kit from a site called cubesatkit.com and for $50,000 or less, I don't, I don't know what all of the exact quotes are, you can custom build an actual satellite and Purposes for why you might want to launch one range from atmospheric and biological research to radio communications to simply taking photos in outer space. The devices last for up to a few weeks or months in space before they then head back into Earth's atmosphere and burn up in the process. Now this story I wanted to save for last because it is a big mind trip for me. Uh, Bitcoin.com reported on a site called Time Republic and on Time Republic people buy and sell services from one another but rather than doing it for money they do it for credit hours like labor hours and so you can earn hours by performing a service for someone or or, or send others earned hours when they perform a service for you. So I saw a video sometime last year, and I wish I could remember which video it was and who was talking in it, uh, but it kind of, it, it changed a, an assumption that I had held, and that assumption was that barter used to be a thing before money arose, you know, money in the form of salt or shells or stones or whatever. I've read and heard more things since then that say that barter never actually could have been a thing. It would have been so inefficient that it's more likely that primitive societies would have used what's called the gift economy, which is basically uh, keeping mental record of who you owe and when you owe people and when people owe you. And so it's really just more like calling in favors or performing favors. And so Time Republic has my gears all turning here because it is a moneyless economy that almost functions like that, like, like the primitive gift economy, but obviously not primitive because it's taking place you know, among participants on a global level digitally. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna probably go stew over what it is Time Republic is doing for the next 24 hours, and maybe I'll get back to you on that, but that is, that is a marketplace I also wanted to share with you. And maybe you could buy and sell there too, as well as Crypto Grind. So many opportunities. And lastly, this Bitcoin-powered Mortal Kombat arcade game was spotted at a cafe in Prague called Parallelny Police. And that, my friends, has been your Daily Decrypt. Thank you, truck. Follow us on Twitter, why don't you? You can find us at The Daily Decrypt. Bye!